Welcome back. The Sheriff's Office Advisory and Review Board seeks to create stronger community ties between the residents of Bernalillo County and the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office. To do that, the SORB seeks public comment on matters involving the Sheriff's Office during their monthly meetings. The next one is taking place this Friday, March 22nd at 1 p.m. To tell us about why it's so beneficial and why you should attend, we're joined by Tommy Jewell from the Sheriff's Office Advisory and Review Board. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you so much for being on. Now, remind us all about the purpose of the Sheriff's Office Review Board and why it's so important for people to get to these meetings. Well, th thanks for having me on in aid of uh, giving this information to the public. The uh, Sheriff's Office Advisory and Review Board was created by the County Commission back in 2020. Uh, at that time, there were issues regarding the sheriff, but not a lot of citizen input around uh, those issues. And so the county commission created this board, which, which is similar, but, but not an exact fit to the police oversight board for the city. Uh, the uh, ordinance that created us said that we were to um, uh, give uh, the citizens the opportunity to assist in transparency and accountability in the sheriff's office. And so we know that the sheriff is an elected official. We elect a sheriff every four years and there aren't many other uh, opportunities for the citizens uh, to, to opine, to, to give input about the activities of the sheriff's office. So it's important uh, that the citizens, my fellow uh, county citizens, take advantage of the opportunities that are there. And so this uh, board meets monthly mm -hmm. and we're inviting the public out to those meetings. It's a hybrid meeting so the public okay. uh, can speak to us uh, through Microsoft Teams or they can come down to Alvarado Square and appear live. Uh, we, we invite the public to give comment. Typically if we have a, a bunch of people speaking it's necessary to limit that comment mm -hmm. to no more than two minutes. But uh, we're not trying to fashion the comment. Uh, obviously, in this community, there's, there's a lot going on with policing agencies. Uh, so some of that, uh, you, you may want to give the sheriff and the deputies an attaboy. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or you may have had an experience at one, uh, that, that begs that, that you comment negatively. Uh, either way, we, w we want that input. And what are some of the issues that have kind of been brought up in the past, whether it be that attaboy or things that, you know, have concerned citizens? Well, I mean, at, at, at the start of this, the, the primary issues regarded body-worn cameras. Mm -hmm. should, should sheriff's deputies have, have to wear those lapel cameras like other police agencies? Uh, and, of course, this uh, board was born at, at the point of COVID. And there was some controversy about whether or not the sheriff would enforce the governor's health orders. Okay. So this is very much something to kind of bridge between the community and the sheriff's office to make sure those concerns are being addressed appropriately. Precisely. And you mentioned that this year you guys are very uh, focused on having the public's engagement. Why is that? Well, we uh, go about strategic planning each, each year and... Uh, a, a chief tenet of our strategic plan is to make sure that we get uh, public uh, input. Okay. And so I, I'm engaged in these outreach efforts to make sure uh, that the public knows of this opportunity and, and will give us that input that we can take back to the sheriff, that we can give to the county commission, mm -hmm. indeed, that, that we can advise the citizenry on. All right. Thank you so much for being here this morning.